Greetings and salutations and welcome to the Northmen. Today I am invading a mansion and it's time for Panic Mansion. In this game, well, let's just open it and see first, okay? We open the box, take away the rules, give each player one of these things here. Oh, take away this. It's already set up and you're ready to play. That was a setup time. Amazing. The game is very simple to play. There are three modes. The first one is the easiest one. We have these three uh, treasure chests here. Let's find the last one. And this uh, uh, adventure. These things should go in one room, indicated on the back side of this card. So I just drop them somewhere. And one, two, and three. At the same time, you using yours and the other players using theirs. And I'm using one. Get all, all those tokens, the three treasure chests and the adventure in this room. Nothing else. So as, as soon as I flip this over, we start. We just need to get the uh, treasure chest. So, okay, right now everything is inside, but we need to remove the eye. We need to remove the ghost, the snake. Ah, come on. Using only... Ah, come on. Um, uh, ah, there. I yell, panic. And the player to my left checks it out. I have... Oh, okay, I'm gonna... Do this. I have all the tokens I need in the room and nothing else. So I win a point taking this card. But I have to pay a compensation to all other players by removing one of the tokens I choose from their playing piece. Of course, not the treasure chest and the adventure, but something else. If I take away a snake, for instance, I help them a lot. But I take away maybe an eye because it's the easiest one to, to avoid. And then we continue until one player has five points. Well, there you have it. So as a Viking, I like to you know pillage and throw things around, and I'm just not getting satisfied by this game. So that's the game. Well, basically, it's more of an activity than a game. But also, I play this with a variety of groups now, and <laughs> right for me, I'm forcing myself to try. I just want people to like this because I don't like this. It's so unfulfilling. And yeah, I, I don't know, uh, kids don't like it because it's too stressful, you know, it's dealing with this. I can't, I can't do it! And just giving up. And myself, I'm just uh, going through the motions. Okay, I'm managing this and okay, I won. Uh, so there are two more modes to play in this game. Uh, the second mode is doing this. And in this room, take all these figures here in that room, nothing else. So it's similar to the one earlier with those, except this time the winner doesn't remove a token from the other players. The third mode is doing this and taking everything but those tokens in that room. So it's exactly the same, they just have to spend more time figuring out what not to have in the room. Uh, yeah, this game doesn't appeal to me, it doesn't appeal to my family or the ones I played with. They all, all go, ah, this is it, stupid. And that is kind of the motion a feeling I also get from this game. It's a shame, because the setup is so simple. You open the box, give one of those to the trailer, ready to go. <laughs> that would be such amazing to have a good game based on that feature. But unfortunately, this is not one of those. So if you are the one that enjoys these dexterity games where you cannot... Well, you know, it's like a labyrinth, you know, the labyrinth game where you can just manipulate the playing board and nothing else. Uh, no, this game doesn't work for me at all, so I cannot recommend it. But you know the game, how it works, how it plays, so this should, should give you an exact <laughs> image of how to, if you're going to like this game or not. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And as always, please check out my Patreon account at patreon.com slash to see how you can influence which game I'm going to review in the future. Also, you can support me financially, and I really appreciate that. And please share and like this video, and... Uh, that, that's how you spread the word, of course. Uh, yeah, I just can't do... I don't know. Well, anyway, have fun gaming with other games. <laughs> See ya! Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower.
The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.